Good morning. Today is the Sunday after Easter called Divine Mercy Sunday. Glory to God, glory, all praise Him, alleluia. Glory to God, glory, all praise the name of the Lord. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. Today, as I said, it's Divine Mercy Sunday, and you've seen this picture around town. It's a picture of Jesus with the sign kind of giving a blessing. Uh, you notice there's two rays that are coming out of his heart. One was white, one is red. The white re represents baptism, holy water. In fact, it's leaning against the holy water fount there that we blessed on Holy Saturday night. The other red re reflects his blood that he died on the cross for us for our sins. And so that's what we celebrate today as we celebrate this this Sunday after Easter, Divine Mercy Sunday. Let us call to mind God's goodness, God's forgiveness of our sins, and ask for forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we gather on this Sunday after Easter, we remind ourselves that Jesus did die, but Jesus rose to new life on that third day, the resurrection. We continue to celebrate that for these days, these 50 days after that we celebrate after Easter. So Lord, guide us today. Let us be people of joy, people of hope, uh, people of a smile today as we smile that the Lord blesses us and walks with us. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, today we have our gospel. Our gospel today is of John. And so the Lord be with you, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. May the Lord be in our thoughts and on our lips, and in our hearts. The disciples were afraid of Jewish leaders, and on the evening of that same Sunday, they locked themselves in a room. Suddenly, Jesus appeared in the middle of the group. He greeted them and showed them his hands and his side. When the disciples saw the Lord, they became very happy. After Jesus had greeted them, again he said, I'm sending you just as the Father has sent me. Then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, they will be forgiven. If you don't forgive their sins, they will not be forgiven. Although Thomas the twin was one of the twelve disciples, was not there with the others when Jesus appeared to them. So they told him, We've seen the Lord. But Thomas said, first I must see the nail scars in his hands and touch them with my finger. I must put my hand where the spear went into his side. I won't believe unless I do this. A week later, the disciples were together again. This time Thomas was with them. Jesus came in the while and the doors were still locked and stood in the midst of the group. He greeted his disciples and said to Thomas, Put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand into my side. Stop doubting and have faith. Thomas replied, You are my Lord and my God. Jesus said, Thomas, do you have faith because you have seen me? The people who have faith in me without seeing me are the ones who are really blessed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I always kind of like that last phrase of the gospel because we are the people. We have not seen the Lord in person unless you did, you know, but I haven't. And yet we still believe in Jesus. We still believe in Jesus who walked this earth, who taught us many things, taught us to love God above all, to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. He taught us how to, how by his kindness and his generosity, his forgiveness, his healing, we hear all these stories about Jesus, how he taught people, how he touched their lives, how he changed their lives. 
And Jesus changed our life by not only dying on the cross, but also rising from the dead to bring us life, to bring us joy, to bring us peace that we can celebrate with joy and happiness, even though at times we're sad. And some maybe some days these are a little sad times because it's different for us. You know, you can't get to school, you have to learn, maybe you have work that's been picked up by your parents or maybe even your grandparents are, are teaching you these days and going through your, your learning how to do things or if you're old enough or you have that, that Chromebook and you're learning by e-learning as they call it through the internet and it's not quite the same and it's not going to be quite the same until we get back to school next year but this is the way that we, we we're, we're learning. This is the way that we still learn about Jesus. We still learn about our world. We still learn about the good things that God has created for us. So we remember that as we gather today. I guess the one thing that I want to think about is, you know, when Jesus appeared to Thomas, he showed him his hands and his side because there were scars there. There was marks from the crucifixion. It, just because Jesus was in this very beautiful state called a, a glorified body, he still had those scars from his... And sometimes maybe there's things in our minds and maybe even physically things that we've done. I know I have some scars from things that I've cut myself or I broke something and, and, and so I still have a scar or you maybe have a scar from something you fell or something. Um, and so we remember that and we can look at that scar and we think about, oh, I remember when I did that. But sometimes maybe there's things that people have said to us. Sometimes there's things people have done to us that, um, that we remember. And that as Jesus forgave, we're asked to forgive also. And sometimes that's really hard. But we know we can't do it by ourselves. We have to ask Jesus for some help. And we, have, we pray to Jesus and ask Jesus, help me, help me to forgive. Help me to, to be free of that. Help me to, to be good and kind and thoughtful generous like you. Help me to be forgiving. So we ask the Lord for his help today as we gather on this Divine Mercy Sunday. So let us now offer some prayers to the Father. You might want to take a moment to think about something you want to pray for. Maybe as you pray today, maybe thinking about people who are sick. You know, some people maybe got sick because of the virus. Maybe praying for, you know, things like maybe mom or dad is, you know, they can't go to work or maybe they're not working at all. Uh, maybe mom or dad are working, but, you know, maybe grandma and grandpa or an aunt and uncle have to be there to help you to learn. Um, maybe there's people that, you know, that we know like the police and the firemen and the first responders and, you know, people are still working. You know, if we go to the grocery store or we go to the hardware store or we or we, maybe we order some food out from a restaurant and, you know, those people are, are trying to, you know, trying to feed their families and so we pray for them. Um, we pray for people who just need our prayers today. Maybe prayers, as he said, maybe people who are having a hard time to forgive somebody. Maybe it's somebody, maybe it's somebody in their own family. Maybe it's their husband or wife. Maybe it's their children. Maybe it's their parents. Um, maybe it's their next door neighbor. Maybe it's a close friend of theirs. They're just having a hard time forgiving so we, we we ask the Lord for grace and his help so that we can be forgiving people. And so let us now gather all our prayers. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The Lord be with you. May mighty God bless you all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. And I know you want to sing that song because you always sing it. You want to sing it. That little light of mine. This little light of mine. Let, let it shine. This little light of mine. Let it shine, this little light of mine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Happy Easter. May God bless you and you and your families. Take care and have a nice day. Thank you very much.